Welcome to the Flint River Aquarium. The area we're in now is our Skywater room. So Skywater is the term that Native Americans gave to Blue Hole Springs, which are our naturally occurring springs here in Southwest Georgia and North Florida. Um, as you can see, the sky is perfectly reflected on the water. It's absolutely beautiful. We have some turtles doing some afternoon yoga in the sun. And later we'll get an up close look at all of the, of the fish that live within this exhibit. Uh, this guy right here is our American alligator. He's about a year old. He's super cute, really chill. I woke him up from a nap. Uh, but alligators are super cool creatures. They are reptiles, ectothermic. And alligators have what's called a nictitating membrane, which is like a third eyelid, like when you're going swimming in the pool and you wear goggles. So let's see if you can get up close look at this. An alligator in the face. See that third eyelid going across? It's kind of giving you the stink eye. Um, and of course, all of his little teeth. They have about 80 to 85 teeth that get uh, replaced when they fall out, of course. And he'll get to be about mm, nine, ten feet long. So it's pretty big. Don't want to hold them when they're that big. That is babies, it's okay. Oh, and he's getting a little squirmy. He's waking up. He's also getting warmer in my hand. So that gives him more energy to move around. Chill out, buddy. There you go. There you go. Stretching, stretching. So welcome to our Blue Hole exhibit. This is our largest exhibit here. The water is actually, or the exhibit is 175,000 gallons. And where we are at, at the bottom of it is about 27 feet deep from the surface above. Um, and it is made to simulate a Blue Hole spring, which is where water comes up through the cracks and the holes in the limestone. Uh, below us here in southwest Georgia and the water comes up out of the ground at a constant 68 degrees So it's nice and cool in the summer and warmer in the winter and These are the types of fish that you would typically find within a blue hole Except for that big guy that looks kind of like an ancient dinosaur. He is a sturgeon um, So they would typically be found within the ocean as well as the rivers. They migrate upstream to spawn They just can't do that as well because of the dams um, then we have some big old catfish in here, some striped bass, largemouth bass, uh, some carp, a bluegill, lots of baby fish, uh, eating all the little algaes and the snails. So these guys just get to live in a pretty safe environment. That's why they're so big. No predators. No one fishing for them. Um, sometimes they chase each other. It's entertaining. It's one of my favorite spots to sit at because you just sit and watch the fish do their fishy things. And it's nice and quiet. So welcome to our World of Water exhibit. So here we have different fishes from around the world in different rivers, different notable rivers. As you can see, we have some red-bellied piranhas that live in the Amazon. Uh, they're really cool. They're one of my favorites here. They have, they're all sparkly with their shiny scales. Um, contrary to popular and widespread and Hollywood belief, piranhas will not attack you if you jump in there. If I were to get in there with them right now, they would not eat me alive. Uh, they're actually pretty timid and shy, and there's many, many different species of piranhas, actually. Um, some of them are even vegetarians. So we have President... Theodore Roosevelt to thank for spreading their uh, not so great reputation. When he went and visited South America for the first time, the locals kind of put on a show for him um, and they kind of set it up to where the piranhas would attack the meat and he would call them the most ferocious fish. Uh, behind me we have the Ganges River, which is in India. So this little guy, he's so cute. Uh, he's a little scat. Um, I think he wants a snack. Uh, and then, while it's not aquatic, but we do have the Colorado River Basin, um, which here we have North America's only venomous lizard, the Gila Monster. He's pretty chill. Like, he just kind of naps all day. Um, as a reptile, he doesn't move that much. And then we also have cichlids from 
We have cichlids from the Rift Lakes in Africa. So not only do we have Flint River and Georgia species here, but we also kind of showcase different rivers from around the world, which is pretty cool. It's like you can go around the world in 90 seconds. Or here we have a common octopus. It's just chilling out here. Um, and he's really entertaining to watch. They're quite good at changing colors. Curious creatures. Um, we have to make sure he's appropriately entertained. Um, the sheds of his suction cups are what is floating in the water. Oh, there he goes. They're really quite fascinating. Um, octopuses are in the mollusks. And um, which, so they're cousins to snails, which is kind of cool when you think about it because he doesn't have a shell. Um, and the orange kind of tube off the side of its face is a siphon, so that's how they breathe, that's how they propel themselves through the water. And of course, he has eight arms, as everyone knows. And he just explores his little enclosure, and he has that beautiful whelk shell in there to uh, hide in when he gets tired of looking at people. So these guys are some of our baby turtles from, we also have turtles in the blue hole exhibit and these are some of their babies and they're mostly all yellow bellied sliders of various ages. Uh, they just kind of hang out and pile on top of each other as you can see the large one over there under the pile that's kind of doing his turtle yoga. That is actually a barber's map turtle, and they only live in the Flint River, um, in the Flint River watershed and water basin. Um, so they're really cool. The designs on their shell and on their faces kind of looks like a topographic map, hence the name. And Mr. Barber is the one that found them, so he got to name them after himself. Uh, but we have the little babies. Oh, he just plopped in the water. Uh, and they're all coming up to say hello. I probably think we're gonna feed them but they like to just swim around do their turtle yoga as the reptiles they're ectothermic so they require the heat lamp that you can see um, to get warm and we also need an additional lamp for the UV and UVA and UVB rays that they would get from the Sun it helps their shells grow nice and strong so here's our Flint River gallery, the main gallery, and we have so many different creatures you can see, the uh, creatures that are found in the Flint River, in the different lakes around Georgia, the tidal marshes with the terrapin, uh, blackwater swamps, and then we got this guy, or this little girl actually, it's the lady, uh, eastern box turtle. She's not too keen on flying, um, but she is not an aquatic creature. So box turtles are actually more like tortoises, where they're strictly land-dwelling animals. And she's an omnivore, so she likes to eat worms and bugs and plants and vegetables and fruits. She really loves strawberries. Um, and she also is housed with our other guys, the gopher tortoise, which is the state reptile of Georgia. Um, they're pretty slow, though. They don't move that fast. Maybe she'll walk around for us. I put it right here. Hey, there you go, sister. Woohoo! Uh, welcome to our aviary. So here we have native birds found in and across Georgia. They're mostly wading birds. Uh, we have our Canada goose. She's right there preening herself. Uh, she likes to keep her feathers all in order. We have a great blue heron walking across the back. Um, they have about a five foot wingspan, so it can be slightly terrifying when they fly right towards you. Uh, we have different cowbirds, an egret, there's a cormorant hiding over in the corner, he's resting. Um, and almost all of these birds that we have here are rescued, or they are rehab birds that the Department of Natural Resources gathers and brings to us. So they are living out the rest of their days in happy retirement, um, where they get fed twice a day and it's nice and comfy and sheltered and this is about what they do uh, so it's, it's really fun for them uh, it's entertaining there's an ibis in the back he's got the curved oh there she goes uh, 
He's got the curved beak. We have a duck here drinking some water. So, yes, welcome to our aviary. <laughs>